Now we all know that Jadu came from a different planet. Now he was sent on earth to collect samples of different plants that are available. So he started exploring different areas of earth and he found out that all the plants were not same. Some plants were different from others and they changed according to regions. For example, when he went to mountains, he found different types of plants. When he went to desert, there were different kind of plants and it was very hot too. And when he went to areas where there was a lot of water, then plants were different. So what do we understand from that? Well, we understand that just like us humans, plants also change from region to region. For example, even in the case of humans, we'll see that in very cold regions, you have such clothes. Well, same human beings wear different types of clothes when they are in deserts. And when they are in plain land, they have different types of clothes. So according to changing region, we human beings also change our clothes and the way we live. Same happens for plants too. And this particular phenomenon is called adaptation. So what exactly is adaptation? The physical changes in any living being which helps it to live in its habitat. So every living being has its own habitat. So some live in very cold region, some live in water, some live in very hot region. And according to the habitat, the physical changes also occur. Now, Jadu collected some samples from all these different places. So he collected samples of mango plants from plain areas. He collected some cacti from desert areas. He collected a sample of pine tree from mountainous region. And he collected a sample of lotus plant from water. Now, what are the variations in all these plants? Let's see. So first of all, let's understand adaptation in deserts. So how do plants adapt in deserts? First of all, leaves are reduced to spines to prevent loss of water. So we clearly see leaves reduced to spines. And that's because the plants want to prevent loss of water. Also, they have fleshy stems to store food and water. So you can clearly see the stem is very fleshy so that it can store food and water because desert is very difficult to live. Also, they have long roots that penetrate deep in soil. Deep in soil to look for water or moisture. So because desert is very hot and very dry, so plants have adapted accordingly. Now, what do we call such plants? Well, such plants which can survive in very dry, hot region, we call them xerophytes. And some examples of xerophytes are cactus and date palm. Now, Let's understand some adaptations in water. So how do plants survive in water? For that, they have some special features. One is that they have large floating leaves as only one side can prepare food. As you can see here, their one side is completely in contact with water. Only one side is exposed to sun. So they have large leaves so that they can capture maximum amount of sunlight. Also, they have hollow stems with air sacs to help in flotation. So they have hollow stems with air sacs in them. As a result, they easily float on water. And they have waxy coating on lower surfaces of leaf to make them waterproof. As you can see, the leaves are actually on the water surface. So the lower portion is completely in contact with water and that portion is 
waxy that is it has a waxy coating on it so that it becomes waterproof and as a result these leaves do not decay easily when they are constantly in contact with water and what do we call such plants which survive in water we call them hydrophytes some examples are water lily and duckweed now let's come to adaptation on mountains now in mountains conditions are very different as a result adaptations are very different too so in the case of plants which survive in mountainous region they have needle shaped leaves to avoid snow deposition because there is huge snowfall that's why they have needle shaped leaves so when snow falls then most of the snow falls off easily does not deposit on the leaves if they had broad leaves then lot of snow would have deposited and the tree would have collapsed under its own weight so they have needle shaped leaves also they have cone shaped that is the trees are cone shaped so that snow slides off easily again snow needs to easily slide off and not deposit on the tree so they are also cone shaped because of that and what are some common examples pine and fir are the trees which survive in mountainous region now can you answer this question which of the plants has needle shaped leaves so is it rose is it lily or is it pine what do you think well the correct answer is pine because pine has needle shaped leaves as it grows in the mountainous region now let's come to adaptation on plain land now apart from all the different conditions which we discussed there is plain land and on plain land how do plants survive well they have deep roots and strong stems to withstand wind now plain land has no protection from wind when the wind blows there are no physical features which can stop the wind from blowing very hard as a result they have deep roots and strong stems to withstand those strong winds also they have tough leaves to prevent water and nutrient loss in plain land usually the elements of nature are very strong so on plain land trees are exposed to physical factors such as sunlight and wind and so they have tough leaves to prevent water and nutrient loss so plants on plain land survive with these characteristics and what are some common examples well banyan tree and peepal tree are common examples of such adaptations on plain land so this is how plants adapt to different regions and different geographic conditions and they survive in such conditions don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all learning resources as per icse cbse ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you also get amazing prizes like playstations ipads watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so at deltastep.com learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too so register for free now